talking to Daryl Harrison. We're at the um, CODA headquarters in uh, Santa Monica, California. This is CODA here all around us. And um, you'll notice that there's a, uh, they're studying a Tesla, ro no, it's not really a Tesla Roadster back there. That is actually a Lotus. Does somebody own a Lotus? Yes. Somebody does. Okay. Well, uh, Daryl, this is the Coda sedan, and um, this is going to be on the market at the end of the year. I've got that right. And the car we're looking at here is not really a finished car exactly. It's sort of a running prototype. Uh, this is car number 10, right? <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> Tell us some of the features. You were just telling me some of sure. the things that are going to be on this car. Sure. Well, this is the Coda sedan. Uh, we'll hit, hit the market in December, beginning in December. Uh, the car is uh, a four-door, five-passenger car uh, with a full interior volume, full trunk. Uh, range is, a, is between 90 uh, and 120 miles, and that's a minimum of at least 90 uh, to 120 miles uh, in any, any type of weather condition or any, during any season. Uh, the car... Um, is going to have a host of, of safety, standard safety equipment uh, from six standard airbags, uh, standard ABS, standard uh, electronic stability control, um, and a number of other, uh, other features. Um, if you go inside here, as I mentioned, uh, five passenger sedan, uh, this interior is still um, very early, so it's not representative of uh, production intent, uh, but it definitely gives you an idea on direction. Uh, the car will have an 8-inch uh, color monitor, a touchscreen color monitor, uh, which will house the standard uh, navigation system. Uh, will also feature uh, Bluetooth capability, um, DVD playback. Uh, when you're in a park, you can look at your favorite DVDs and watch a movie, for example. Uh, it will also have iPod connectivity uh, and USB connectivity. Uh, so you can hook your, your iPhone, your iPod, or an MP3 player and listen to music through the, uh, the built-in speakers in the car. Uh, you will also have what we call Quick Link system, uh, which will allow you to uh, download your, the latest sports scores, uh, stock quotes, uh, a number of other types of uh, bits of information. Uh, additionally, the car will come standard with uh, available real-time traffic and real-time weather. So if you're using the navigation, you'll be able to, to find out what the weather is in your area and your destination. Uh, we'll also have a green screen system, which is a system that measures vehicle efficiency. And what that does, it tells you, uh, it shows uh, your history of driving, um, it shows how efficient you've been, um, and it, it'll help you to adjust your driving if you're trying to maximize uh, your range. Uh, in addition to also providing state of charge, it will also give you an idea through an integration with the navigation um, as to uh, local charging stations um, and how far you can drive and what area you can drive um, before you will be, uh, reach uh, near depletion in your, in your battery. One cool feature I've heard that some EV makers is going to have is it will actually tell you whether that charger is being used currently. I think that's a cool feature. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> and one, one of the things, too, that's uh, very interesting about our car, and you mentioned the charger, and it kind of brought, it, brought to mind, uh, our car actually has a 6.6 6, excuse me, 6, .6 kilowatt hour uh, onboard charger, uh, which uh, is about double the size of, of our nearest competitor. And really, it, what it allows, it means that you can charge your car uh, from depletion to full charge or any, anywhere in between uh, faster than you can uh, with cars with smaller onboard chargers, which is a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. So that means uh, for, for, from depletion to full charge on a 220-volt uh, charger, uh, you can actually do that in the Coda sedan um, in, in five to six hours. And yeah, I know you've been talking about doing fast charging, and uh, because there isn't really a standard yet, you haven't integrated that yet, but that could be like half an hour. Uh, right, right. Level level three charging, um, based on the uh, the information that I that I've seen from a number of uh, charging manufacturers, would allow charge uh, from depletion to full charge in anywhere in approximately 30, 30 minutes. Um, one of the other things about about the car that I that I failed to mention a second ago is that if your commute is only 40 to 50 miles um, on the Coda sedan, you could actually charge from depletion to uh, about 40 or 50 miles in about two hours. So. Not a lot of time when you when you look at kind of the grand scheme of things in, in perspective. And it's all zero emission, as it says all, on the car. All zero emission. And it's all electric. This is Jim Motivale reporting. Thank you, Daryl.